Hello everyone, my name is Hongazin and welcome back to this Imperator Rome Purple Phoenix campaign. So, I've reloaded the game and I still can't grab these ones. I don't know what's going on here, but something is clearly weird. I mean, even if you go here and, let's see, this is Antigonea, something like that. I can't even select it from here. Um... Yeah, <laughs> so I don't know why this is happening. Um, but I mean, we'll probably take this one, um, just because it will allow us easy access for the next war here, and we'll see about taking something else. I mean, we have no aggressive expansion at the moment, which is very, very worrying. We definitely need to take something. Anyways, um, let's see how this fight goes. It might go horribly, horribly. Right, you are marching your way over here, so we could change tactics. We'll see. Okay. So tactics are fine, I guess. They have pathetic morale. We have fantastic morale. Okay, we're going to break the central line here fairly quickly. It should hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've rolled terribly. Um, let's see, they are running wolf at the moment, so we want to shock, actually. Okay, they do have good troops in here. We still got more morale, though, so we are going to drive those off. And if we can get some better tactics in there, we should be winning this war. Right, so there we go. <coughs> I mean, the sheer amount of troops. Oh, this is... We are completely exhausting their manpower at the moment, though. So I do think this is a fine fight. So we can see here, uh, yeah. They are going to be out of manpower, which is going to be excellent. Alright, there we go. Sorted. I think we will have broken them now. Well, possibly if we can get these ones out of the way as well. Well, I'll go eventually. <laughs> After getting rid of all of my troops here. I mean, I, I'll give them credit. They are refusing to break, but it would be better if they broke so we could actually have some fresh ones fighting these ones. Oh, well. There we go. Come on. Right. There we go. And slaughter some donkeys as well while we're at it. Oh my god, these are so weak that yeah, that's 27 men beating up on these donkeys. Oh god. <sighs> right, there we go. Okay. So that means, yeah, we'll keep them under control for now. I think. Yeah. The thing is, we do actually have claims on things down here, and I am tempted to take it, because this is a lot of um, money to be made down here. There's so many cities and, you know, trade goods, etc, etc. Um, I don't particularly want any of these ones. I guess we could go for manpower. Really? <laughs> oh god. So let's see, if we go down this way, there is one fort here. After that we can cross over to this region. And I think there's only one fort there, so at most we need to siege down two of them.
Um, I am kind of tempted to take that fort. Will that actually help us? No, he'll still be able to faff through that way. But yeah, let's go for it anyway. But yeah, if we look at his um, army at the moment now, he needs 78,000 to reinforce, which he does not have. Oh, you have no food now either. Well, that's not good. Let's get this one sorted ASAP. Nice. 100 ducats. Okay, so many sieges done. Oh! How many freaking fort levels do you have here? Four, so that means, um, I never remember, 4,000 per level of fortress, so we need 16,000. Well, okay, let's have you go there as well then. Right, I am tempted to wait here, just so you get some actual food. I'm even more tempted to go and crush this army again, though. Get some more marks. Let's we'll see what he's going to do here. The morale is full, so let's force march and see if he's still going for it. He is. Okay, tactics wise, we are running the correct things. Um, we need to keep running the correct things. Okay. I think we'll be fine. These should fall back quite quickly. Um, but there are a lot of them. And when I say a lot of them, I mean a ridiculous amount of troops. These ones are actually... Yeah, the problem is there's so few people in these ones. Um, there are a few troops in his as well, though. <clears throat> no, I think we need to send down s these ones. How quickly can you get there? Oh, you need to go around. Probably won't make it in time. Oh my god, slaves! Now! Uh, approval from Democrats. Um, mm. oh, someone scorned again. The Ascentids. Alright. Um, are all the other ones fine? Well, you can see we've probably got some... Minor character. Approval. Who do we not care about? Our dides. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Place you with this guy. Um, I'm not sure whether I can get there on time. Because these ones are very, very weak. I mean, even though his troops do have less... Oh, I don't know. Oh, did he reinforce? Okay, come on. Get there on time. There we go. Okay. It's about to say easy peasy, but <laughs> definitely not easy. 
<sighs> okay. I think we need to stay a bit less spread out as it is. There we go. Okay. Wow. There's literally no people in this one. All right. Um, you can go away. Are there any other troops we can hire up here that are not, you know, completely useless? Um, it's not looking very positive. You have no troops either. Um, well, you have some. You're fine at the moment, and you have actually recovered morale. Um, let's have you go up there for now. Meanwhile, let's have you siege some more money for us. Okay, there we go. Right, <clears throat> we have no uh, food in that one. Okay. Right, uh, sure, for defense, what are we going for anyway? Heavy infantry maintenance cost is nice, and heavy infantry offense is also very nice. Okay, uh, unfortunately can't reorganize over here, but that's okay. So, in this war done, what we will be wanting is... Obviously those two. We want that one. Um, that's 22 war score. We kind of want... Don't want these ones. Those are... Too expensive. Uh, depending on... He'd, he'd accept this now. So... Actually, what we want as well is... Since we can't get that one... We want to go and siege this down ASAP. But I definitely need more food before we do that. So... Okay, you go up there so you don't lose anything. So I think we're going to go for a pre precision strike down here. We just wait for this one to finish sieging. You actually get some form of food here. Maybe we'll try and siege back some of these other food producing provinces. Okay, um, not a democrat. You are super loyal. Local fort defense, I don't think that really matters. I thought there were some barbarians up there sieging down my land again, but luckily no. Right, I, need to, I want to keep that one here just in case he decides to do something silly. Okay, there we go. There's 57k troops on those ships. Marephenesium, which is here, okay. Oh, they're all Marephenesium. Well, that's not looking too positive for us, but... We'll see. Okay, food here is fine now. Now, I don't know... Would he recover less troops in unoccupied territory? So this is not looking very positive for us. They do have an excellent commander. We have a pretty shitty commander, but... Let's see how we do. I mean, we are using the correct tactic. Um, I don't think that's going to help, though. Or well, at least they're less efficient. But these ones are just going to crush everything. Mm, 
Well, morale is sinking. If we can get those away, then I think we'll do fine. That's a big, big if. How are they doing? Uh, 1.71. Yeah, these ones have literally no morale. Ah, oh, nice money. Okay, there's an 11k stack, or two of them faffing about up there. Let's see if we can cut those off. Are these mercenaries? No, I don't think so. Right, let's keep pushing this. So, these, we need them to disappear. Of course we're going to hold the Olympics. There we go, okay. We might be okay now. If we can actually roll slightly better. Um, but it is going to be very, very close. Five is nice. Wow. Okay. We have unfortunately rolled terribly now. When's the next roll? Uh, you can't tell, can you? Well, is equal. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh well. Um. Yeah, I lost 60 ships. Question is, is he... Are they still going to um, offload these troops somewhere? I mean, I could rent some majestic armies up here and actually go and crush them. Um, which might not be an entirely terrible thing. I mean, I definitely don't want them faffing about on our... Oh, really? You're going to go and start sieging this back. I mean, that's fine with me. Honestly, that is perfectly fine. I could not care less um, if you siege that back, considering I can't take it. I mean, it is war score, of course. So it's not ideal, but... It's not really something that affects us greatly. Let's go grab that one back. Oh, here's an army. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hope that you will un black flag by going into occupied territory. We did do calculations regarding this, didn't we? And this actually is just better. But yeah, he's going to siege that down. Alright. You do that, and I guess I will take one of these ones. Which is awful. Right, you want to... He's recovering. That's um, impressive. And I have no manpower. So, alright, in the meantime, I'll steal all of their money. So what we need to do is just siege down the capital fort there. What fort level is it, by the way? It is level one. Well, ah, good times. And yes, uh, that is apparently enough. Okay. In that case, well, I can see his navy faffing about over here. Um, I do want my navy to be fully morale up, I believe. Uh, well, there's more troops down here as well. Ah, oh, good, he's suiciding them into me. Always a nice thing. Um, we could just go 
and just have you go over all the way today. Fifty-three thousand troops. So this will only tell us how many cohorts it's got, um, but it does need. It, I, I think this is more or less his entire army. So what we're going to do here is just have these ones be independent, because I'm too lazy, and just have them siege down some stuff over here. Because if he's going to keep his entire army up there, then I'm more than happy to, you know, let him. Because that allows us to, you know, recover some of the losses we've made during this war. Right, so you're going to, yeah, wait until you have some more morale. That is fine. I think we should win this even though we have such low morale. Yeah, yeah, these troops are just melting away. Right, have you got anything else to siege at the moment? Um, what says that city, I guess? Ah, we stack wiped them, very nice. Now, this is a port, but I am a bit wary. Oh, actually, we do have a port there as well, so. I think we can probably go and blockade this one because we should be able to escape into here if we need to. Nice, nice, nice. I will sort out which of these actual, you know, mercenary stacks will keep after the war. We should be fairly soon. We just need to occupy this one and then we occupy that and then we're good to go. So who are we at war with anyway? Oh, we are at war with Judea as well, okay. Um, they have cities. So he's probably going to, you know, finish this siege, but that is fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Now what I would have... Can we do anything here? No, we need a big juicy ships for that. Maybe we should be focusing on the military or the ships in one campaign here. I very rarely do because they are kind of Point plus. Oh nice, there we go. Okay, so go and siege down that one as well then. Ideally what we want here is, well, let's wait for this siege to finish. 90 ducats. Well, I don't know. Will I make it over here? Because, you know, sieging down these ones is going to be a ludicrous amount of war score. So I'm not quite sure why it went this way rather than you know, just cross over there, but okay. Alright. He's not actually finished that siege yet, which is even better. Alright. We'll see. I mean, I am tempted to take something more that we don't have a claim on because we have no aggressive expansion at the moment. We'll let it tick down way, way, way too much. So, um, can't stand for that. All right, but I think I am going to call this an episode here. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.